So in order to be successful with the paint inlays, you need to have a few important tools. First of all, you need obviously the paint inlay and you need chalk paint or you can use clear coat. Um, I know it successfully works with chalk paint, so I always recommend the use of chalk paint or a clear coat. If you're unsure of the clear coat brand that you use, you can always test a sample piece. Okay, so here in front of me is look at this beautiful, it says Christmas trees and look at the bright colors, there's red. Um, and we're going to put it on this board. Now this board is an old chippy white um, piece of wood, I think from like an old, we're gonna go with an old barn. <laughs> Even if it's not, we're just gonna say it. But it's perfect, it's chipped up beautifully. Now I don't want to paint over it with a white or a different color because I love the natural look of this wood. So today uh, for the first, the first project in the Noel paint inlays, we're going to use a clear coat. Okay. So here's my clear coat and my brush. I'm simply just going to brush it on. I'm going to cover the whole piece. Now, when I put this on, the surface is a little bit, um, let's say rough. It's not flat. So I want to make sure that I'm getting enough clear coat on here. Uh, put enough clear coat on here that will receive the paint inlay because keep in mind that the paint inlay is actual paint on a piece of paper that is going to transfer from the piece of paper to your project. So you want a place for that paint to go and this on this one is going to go right into that clear coat. I'm going over one more time just to make sure I got a pretty even coat. And it's a little thicker than I would normally put on when I was, say, sealing my piece. All right, so we'll put that aside. Now, here we go. I'm going to put this paint inlay on. I'm going to try to center it as best as possible. And here we go. So I'm going to just very lightly, at first, push it into the clear coat, making sure there's no bubbles. Keep in mind, you're not going to get a pristine, crisp of letters because they are already distressed. They're meant to be and look distressed, an old sign. So you can see here on some of these designs that the letters are already part missing of them because it's supposed to be a distressed look. Okay, so what I do is I, I take my brayer and I just give it a once over just to make sure there's no bubbles. This really works well if you're using chalk paint because sometimes you'll get a bubble from the chalk paint and it stops or it creates these like wrinkles. All right, so after I put my paint inlay on, this is very important, I want to mist it with a spray bottle or you can take a damp sponge. I like to use the spray bottle, so let me show you. And you don't need a lot of water. What you're doing is just kind of releasing the paint to the surface below. After you spray it, I just take cloth, damp cloth, and push. Not heavily, just enough firm pressure to make sure that that paint inlay is going onto my surface. Paying particular attention to the details, the letters. Okay, so now what we do is we wait. We wait for this to dry. All right, so here was the first one we did. This one is dry and we are going to go ahead and reveal what we made. And I'm very confident that this is going to be just perfect. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take your mister bottle and you need to mist your whole design. What this does is it reactivates the paint inlay so it will release off of the inlay paper. Definitely want to make sure I get the edges well so I'll have a place to begin peeling. 
So you let that set for a minute or two, give it enough time to release and um, off the paper. So. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm excited. This design is super cute. This one might have to come home with me. Especially with the chippy barn wood looking paint job on here. Okay. I'm going to start. I grab the corner. I'm going to start over here and I'll pull this way and let's just see what happens. So far, so good. I'm being very gentle. I do not want to rush, rush this process. Feels like it's taking forever, but I'm so <laughs> I'm so happy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I am in love. Okay, so what do you do with this? Well, what I do with them is, you know the sheets that, that come with your paint inlay? I simply lay it back on that to dry, and then I can stack them all up and they are right back to where they need to be. So I just stick it right on that paper and allow it to dry, and then I can use it again. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up close to the camera so you can actually see up close. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Even where there wasn't any paint, just the clear coat. It, when I say no paint, I mean the paint was already chipped off. But look at how beautiful that is. <sighs> Tree sign is dry and ready for the next stage. I'm just going to decorate the edge and then we are going to seal it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my IOD stamp that has ink on it and it is in the color stone. These come blank and then you can put whatever color you want in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly go around the edges just to give it some dimension. See that? See the difference? And then right over here, and maybe feather it in just a little bit on the edges. What I'm doing is I'm kind of dragging in a little bit, only on the sides, because that makes a difference. There we are. So now we have it framed in with just a little bit more detail. Okay, so now comes the sealing part. This is very, very important. What you don't want to do is you don't want to go right to your wax or your poly or your clear coat and start slopping it on because what that'll do is it will reactivate the paint and you will have a sloppy mess. What you want to do instead is one of two things. Basically, you either want to have a spray varnish, which I have here, um, or you can take your clear coat and put it in a bottle, any spray bottle, mix it 50-50, shake it up, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly spray the paint inlay. We don't want to put too much on because we don't want it to pull up and um, become sloppy. What we're going to do is we're just going to give it a nice fine mist, and then after that dries, we can brush on our poly or our wax. All right, so let's do that. And again, I'm just giving it a light mist 
and I'm covering the whole entire project because I want it to be uniform. I want it to have the same look. If I just concentrate in certain areas, um, it might have a different look. It might be a little bit more shiny or more sheen in one area. So I'm making sure I cover the whole entire piece. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry and then we will brush on some poly or clear coat, whatever you call it. Here is the Christmas sign all dry from the spray varnish. Now what we can do is we can now brush on the varnish and we won't get any smearing because we did use the spray to set the paint inlay. You can use wax, but I'm going to use a clear coat. So now I can just brush it on and I don't have to worry about the paint inlay smearing. This will provide extra protection for the paint inlay. There we go. Now it is ready to be hung on the wall.